Hi, I'm Not Yet Dead, and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. So, um, yeah, as uh, you've just seen, I've uh, I just did a bit of footage of uh, doing the, the mowing and baiting and uh, wrapping down on fields. Oh, field numbers 31 and 30. I randomly started um, <laughs> doing the mowing down there and then suddenly realised that my plan was to, uh, to show that on uh, actually... <laughs> I was going to do it in, um, in a live stream, but never mind. Um, so I just thought I'd record some footage of it. So yeah, so that's a bit of a composite of, uh, of that. And it's fair to say jobs are slowing down uh, on the farm. Um, I've just been trying. So we're now in early autumn. I've just had a worker on field three and he's done sections of fertilizing but only in bits and I don't understand why in theory the whole field should need another level one fortunately is done um, I uh, um, to be honest it's a bit of a loss um, equally it's now early autumn um, but uh, when it eventually updates we are not ready to harvest these are still shown planted. I planted them three days ago, two days ago, whatever it was. Admittedly, it's been a bit of a cold, wet summer, um, but they're also not showing as germination failed yet. Nothing seems to be going over to the next level. I can't fertilize. I can't spray herbicide, which is why I'm bringing this back. I had this out to do the grass fields to get rid of the weeds, but um, nothing doing. It won't let me. Um, and in the meantime, I've done fields. What is that? Two and seven, is it? The two grass fields down here. So we'll put this away. I have a feeling I'm not going to need it again. It's all been a bit, it's just going to be a bit of a disappointment. It, it's not looking like at this point in time that we're actually going to get a harvest. So, um, so yeah, a bit disappointing. But as I say, so I did that. I did want to show that footage down um, uh, down doing those two grass fields. I say I'd already done the bales and sold them off uh, the two fields up here. Um, but um, the animals, on the other hand, need quite a bit of care and attention. So the pigs down at Scatterbrook, uh, the cows up here, uh, the sheep, mm -mm, maybe a little bit, and certainly the, the pigs and the cows. Uh, the pigs and sheep rather over um, up in the sort of rearing area if you like uh, all need quite a bit of looking after so I thought we'd do that to be honest um, so I'm just going to show a bit to it I've done bits of it before I've got some new equipment uh, so we'll use a bit of that and to be honest at this point in time looking after the animals is the only other thing that needs doing on here the only other thing will be to um, obviously collect at those bales uh, but that will be tomorrow now um, so I will do regardless I'm, I'm I've already spotted an opportunity uh, I've heard there's something in the pipeline so um, this will be I was always planning to get to the end of year two on Shamrock but um, it's gonna be a bit disappointing if we don't get harvesting if the fields ripen and we get a harvest in obviously we'll do the harvest um, if not may as well sweep up first Ooh, and we've got a load of manure as well but again so off screen I'll chuck that in the trailer and we'll uh, just see if we can just sweep it's looking like that's working Mr. Patch there we go all done is that it yep oops there it goes up into the air doing its usual trick um, yeah, so I need to sell the manure, need to keep the animals going, um, hopefully we'll get the harvest, but otherwise if the fields don't do anything then all I'm doing is keeping the animals going until it's time to move. 
Um, but yeah, so I say I've identified a potential opportunity. Going back to Scotland, I think it's fair to say the weather is proving to be challenging down here. Um, so this was a bit of a gamble. This, is this the Joyrex Comfort Big? It was getting a bit much using the uh, the little straw blower, and actually I forgot to reload the mod. Uh, so I thought I'd try this. Technically, it's supposed to work with round bale or with square bales. It also works with round ones, and you get loads in here. It's brilliant. So uh, yeah, very handy. Not short of bales whatsoever. Interestingly, it's using the one at the back first, but that's fine. I mean, the point is it's got a belt, so it's feeding them in, feeding them along as it uses them up. It's going great guns, look at that. Awesome. Such a useful bit of kit. We want to try that for ages. So we'll show some of this. I'm not, you know, this, I've done some of this before. I've done, you know, some of it not before or with different pieces of equipment. Um, but, uh, I mean, you know, I'm not going to show me putting the water in because you've seen that loads of times. Uh, I'll perhaps do a bit of footage of going up. This is getting a bit congested in here, isn't it? Um, I've run out of corn virtually so I'm having to feed the pigs down at Scatterbrook I'm actually having to buy pig food in uh, for them which is yeah a shame has to be said but ness uh, they're necessary but necessary let's get this out of the way a minute bought a new trailer as well. We'll, we'll um, I will show that in a minute actually. That's quite a cool piece of kit. I guess I'm not going to need the slurry spreader anymore. I need to start thinking about equipment. Yeah so a potential opportunity in Scotland still waiting for uh, details and uh, when it actually become available etc. So I think we'll be moving back up there. Um, in the meantime we'll just keep the animals going and prepare for the move so I'll start slimming down the equipment regardless of harvest what I will do is the sort of final sell off if you like the clear down of the farm um, as a bit of a video just so that people can see you know I'm not cheating any when I get the uh, the final amount obviously we've been sick a lot of money since we came from Peterville but um, you know waiting for the opportunity for the next big farm I just this was just I just wanted to try this one out for a little bit there we go do love this great thing see it working inside great animation Oh, it's going to keep them going for a while that's for sure got a load of milk to sell off actually what's milk price like we got two 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 zero two one two three fifty but dropping Ooh, that's very interesting even at Malone's it's a pretty decent price two two seven three they're not huge prices, but they're not bad prices. That was plenty. Right, I'll do a bit more. I'll catch up with you a bit later on. Right, just down at the sheep. Just remembered actually, I've got a load of wool to sell as well, but the problem, uh, the wool price, the price of wool, isn't uh, is dropping at the moment. It's not great, so yeah. Well, uh, we'll leave it for now. Let's see, let's wait for that sheep to cross. Oh, yeah, we'll crawl over the thing. That's fine. No, you're not. No. <laughs> uh -huh. Very funny. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's 
for it. This poor old Massey's going to struggle a little bit getting up the hill with this. But it's handy to be able to do the clean up and the water all in one go, and then it's just the feed for the pigs. watching me uh, do the tortuous trip up the hills I'll, uh, I'll see up at the pigs in a minute actually not, I thought we'd come and do the sheep first just because I'll need to drop the front loader off Aww. watch out sheepy beep beep Oh, that where I picked him up. Uh, there. So I think the reason the muck is so bad actually down at the sheep is because I've got those two bales there. Um, hmm. The problem I always find with this one is it's really difficult to drop. Huh. <laughs> I was going to say it's really difficult to drop the feed, but apparently it's not. What will be really difficult actually is trying to get out of here. Um, it's not raining. What we can do is push these bales out of the way, get the tractor out, and then I'll either push them back in or I'll come and do that later. We'll see how we get on. They're certainly making sure that the uh, sheep have plenty of food. Do have a need to shut the gates quick. Oh no, you don't. There we go. Right, water for the pigs. is struggling a little bit with the weight of this trailer. With it being an A-frame, I'm struggling with getting it in the right place. Oh, oh that's disappointing. <coughs> Clearly missed completely. Let's try that again, shall we? Turns well, though. Seriously? Come on. Oh, how did that happen? Hey, that's a very strange place for a trigger. But we found it. It's all that matters. Right, next thing then, pig food. So I love this trailer, it's perfect for feeding pigs because you can get two lots of feed in it at one time or two lots of grain anyway. So uh, that is all of the corn that I have left so as I said I haven't got an awful lot. Um, okay, perhaps I should still have done this sort of side to side rather than try and go straight up. Yeah so that's the, that's the corn in the back there so it's what, just over 2,000 litres. 
so um, I mean we won't need all of it this time but it's uh, yeah it's a bit of a problem um, and no sign of any crops being ready anytime soon certainly not the corn because it's not even started growing yet so yes it's been a bad year it's fair to say there you go The only thing is which tip side is it on? Got that one right, that's lucky. And then you have to change our tip side. Oh, that was lucky too, what a guess. Yeah, Russian trailer, but oh, it's such a, such a good design. I love this trailer, brilliant. that's two out of three I'll do the same with the canola and that's the pigs up here done right so now we are at Catterbrook wow really can't speak here we are down at Scatterbrook I've got some pig food not a lot but should be more than we need quite considerably I might just leave this trailer down here for now I was trying to figure if I'd left any down here before Ooh, we need to clean up actually. Best that we do that first. Just take a shortcut through the pigs. Hello piggies. Try to get the feet wet. Or in there for that matter. Is there anything in there? Hmm, tiny bit. So yeah, as you can see, not a lot going on in the field, but for a few patches of weeds, which I haven't really seen the point to get rid of at this point in time. And there's all our bales sitting on the uh, fields on the other side. Ready to go. Well, nearly ready to go. There won't be long tomorrow. Short hop, skip and a jump over to the biogas plant. So there's that manure up at the cows. That can go in there as well. There we go. not a moment too soon they just run out of food so just unload how much do they need Oh wow, I said the dregs were already enough to get them <laughs> nearly fed again. Wow, okay. Cleanliness will switch over in a minute. So they took... Actually still most of that. Okay, fine. So it just unloaded really quickly. So that was good. So yeah, very little left. Actually, I may as well take this back up then, as is, because tomorrow or the day after, I'll need to put, oh no, I'm in the way there. I'll need to put more pig food in it. I'll bring it back down. And I won't need it again anytime soon unless we suddenly get a harvest. So just coming up on six in the evening, we'll just quickly uh, get the pig some water and that's all of the animals done I need to find out whether or not I was uh, I was thinking I might sell that milk what's that price doing let's see I could do some contracting ooh 2283 has that gone up actually it's still highest down at the dock but 2283 at Malone's is pretty decent Oops, can't quite lift it up soon enough. Quick enough, rather. They won't need much anyway. How much do they need? So we started off at 7,000 litres. Actually, wow, okay. 
I beg your pardon, they've taken most of it. This will do for now. So, quick run back up. Let's get a dolly. Let's quickly run to the dealer, sort out a um, tanker, and let's go sell that milk. Why not? I mean, there'll be more to sell, but you know, best sell it while it's fresh. Price isn't too crazy. So that was quick. Very quickly went and grabbed the dolly that we'd already got leased, nipped along to this store and leased this rather large 60,000 litre and just in the nick of time because we've just gone over 60,000 litres of milk. So this is going to be something. So where prices are we? Where are we on prices? I know what I mean. 2283-2301 Harbour Shipping Dock 2 or Malone's? Malone's is the easiest one to get to, I know Malone's. Harbour Shipping Dock 2. Yeah, I think we may not get there before it shuts. Mind you, that said, we may not get to Malone's before it shuts either. That depends on how easily I can get out of here. Oops. And you know what? That could have been a lot worse. In fact, that's remarkably not bad at all. Right, very quickly then, jump out, jump over there, close this gate, quickly get a move on, get through this gate and shut that gate. Okay. There we go, and let's hope they close at 6 and not 5.30. It's the race. And it ain't going to be that quick either. This is a heck of a heavy load, even for this, which is, you know, this is quite a big tractor. It's quite powerful. Fortunately, of course, it's all downhill. Um, this will be a one off deal as well, this in this trailer. I, I won't need it again. Uh, we won't produce that kind of quantity of milk, I don't suppose, before the end of the year. Let's go this way stick to the main roads. Three minutes, the race is on. Do, 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 do. Quick, overtake. Or oh, you're going to pull out left. I knew you were going to do that. Why could you not have indicated sooner, you bozo? Right. You're going to be here. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, well, into the next one. Yeah, we're going to make it. Loads of time. Loads of time. There it is. It's within spitting distance. Ish. Or at least throwing, throwing distance. In a very small, light rock. Quick overtake. we go, two minutes, just where we find that the post at 5.30, oh wow, let's see, is the gate shut, ooh, 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 ooh. no, 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 we're all right, we're in, we're in, we're in, it might show, we might be able to get out again. Now, where do we sell it? Oh, oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Okay, that might do it, actually. Just put over this way a bit. There we go. Yeah, where's the sell point? Uh, is that it? 
That's not going to be easy, is it? Or is that it over there? Is it these? No, it's not, is it? No, 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 no. no. Let's try that again, shall we? If I swing it round, wow, it's been like that. If I swing it round this way. There we go. I'm going to watch that money go up. This is where all that work for all those cows, apart from the manure that we've been selling, which actually we've also been not doing too badly out of, really becomes worthwhile. Well, this will be the biggest single sellout I've probably done on this farm so far. And these are putting like crops as well. Quite a lot of barley and wheat to sell. Not a lot else, sadly, given of course this year's harvest. But we'll see. Was that the gate just shutting? Heavy gate noise. No, oh, no, it's still open. There we go. Ah, 137,000. Nice. Nice. Back up to 1700. Right, well, me getting out there is going to take a wee while. Now it's about it, really. Um, we'll see what goes. Hopefully, we'll get a harvest. If we get a harvest, I'll be back on here. And, uh, and obviously, we'll show that. Um, if not, this may be just about it I'm not going to, you know, there's very little point really in me um, yeah, I'm getting better at this um, yeah, there's very little point in me um, you know, just showing the daily ah, <laughs> oh, help, let me out right, well I'll go and talk to them and say, excuse me, would you mind opening the gate for me um, but yeah, so apart from uh, yeah, the daily grind, if you like, it's not grind, but you know what I mean, just the daily rigour of uh, cleaning out the animals and feeding them and everything else. Um, what else is going on there? Oh, tomatoes. Perhaps I'll get some one of them um, You know, there's not else to do, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully there'll be a harvest. If so, I shall see you back on here quite soon. Um, if not, then this will be it until it's time to move on. But uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, likes and subscriptions very much appreciated. And um, I'll see you uh, on the next one. Bye for now. Let's go see if I can get that gate open.